Well, I'll tell you what, that's probably top four done with. Manchester United nil, Watford nil at Old Trafford. It, it, it almost feels unbelievable what we've just witnessed, but it's not unbelievable. Burnley, Southampton, Middlesbrough, and now you can add Watford to the list where Manchester United dominated the game of football. Manchester United, look how many shots we had. 22 shots. Jeez, though, look how many shots we had on target. Three shots on target. Watford nearly had as many shots on target as we did. Manchester United, Ronaldo, Bruno, horrendously wasteful today. And given the fact that we've got Man City coming up next away, then Spurs at home, and then, you know, Liverpool away as our next three Premier League games, you can probably kiss goodbye to the top four. Arsenal beating Wolves in the last minute and United going and throwing away two points there against Watford at Old Trafford. I don't really know what to say, ladies and gents. This is how we all feel after that game. But I'm sorry. I've, I've got to speak about Ronaldo after that game. He looked like an old age pensioner uh, in the last uh, last five minutes there when a chance kind of fell towards him. And I, who are you going to blame? Who, 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 Manchester, Bruno Fernandes missed a couple of golden chances, especially in that first half when he was put straight through. Mate, easy finish, tied it into the corner. Spanked it straight at Ben Foster. But, but, but look, 22 shots we had today. And the fact that this has happened, as I said, against Burnley, against Watford, against Middlesbrough, and against Southampton, just all these games where Manchester United totally dominated. And at the end of that game, we had Pobre on the pitch, Sancho on the pitch, Rashford on the pitch, Ronaldo on the pitch, Bruno on the pitch, Ilanga on the pitch. Try and point a finger at Ralph Radnick. I dare you. I, you know, I double dare you to try and point a finger at the manager for that result there. That was just some wasteful finishing from key players who have, unfortunately, in so many occasions, four different occasions now, been extremely wasteful for Manchester United all season. What are the matter? 7.1 they gave Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. All you can do is laugh. All you can do is laugh. As I said, it, it almost seems preposterous. Look at that big word. Um, that Man United turned that into a game where we didn't have three points. But we've done it. We've done it on like four, four different occasions that I can remember this season off the top of my head. And I'm sure we've done it in other occasions as well. But that there absolutely stinks. How can you expect any... You, I think I always revert to that quote. I don't know if it was made up or not, uh, whether it was Pep Guardiola who said it, but it kind of makes sense anyway. The manager's job is to is to take the team to the final third. It's your job as attackers to score the goals. And today, I mean, Anthony, like, if you look at I could come in with the positives of saying Anthony Alanga. I really, what, really enjoyed watching Anthony Alanga today. Showed he had far more to his game than just getting on the end of a, of a great ball from Bruno Fernandes against Atletico Madrid. Really good, smart movement and interplay between him. Jesus, that was nearly goal of the season that he started on the right-hand side with Wambasaka, Ilanga to Ronaldo to Popper with the flick. Ilanga, nah, missed. Bruno, straight through ball, great, missed. Bruno with the header, with the chip back from Ronaldo, missed. Manchester United, as I said, four times this season now against lesser opposition have just thrown it away with absolutely abysmal finishing. And I just don't really know how... We've got any chance against City next week. How do we have any chance against City? I mean, what, uh, on one side of me, you're saying, look, Sam, we could just create 22 shots there against um, Watford. Of course, we're going to have a chance against City. We probably will have chances, and we will probably miss those chances. I mean, but Man United are doing so much right. In that first half, I thought we played excellent football. Matic, by the way, Jesus, today, didn't that show you how much you miss a prime Nemanja Matic? What did he get? 7.0. Okay. Yeah, really. You're going to give Ronaldo a better rating than Nemanja Matic in that game. Good luck with that one, my friend, who scored.com. Someone needs to sack your player ratings guy. Manchester United there today, as I said, Matic playing in that holding quarterback role just goes to show you how important it is to have that holding midfielder who can control a game. Play like the quarterback. Obviously, Watford didn't really have too much pressure on him. It was a perfect game for him. I thought he played very well. But what does it matter? What does it matter talking about any individual performance from that game when ultimately it ends like that? Nil-nil, 67% possession, 22 shots. With three on target. I, I showed you that stat before. Against Burnley, Southampton and Middlesbrough, Manchester United had 70 shots in those three games. And we scored three goals. 
Add that into that. That means in those three games in this one combined, 92 shots and three goals. No goals today. And we had guilt-edged chances. This man had guilt-edged chances. This man had guilt-edged chances. And it's just pure frustration. You can see it on the, on the faces of the players. You can hear it from the fans at, at full time that are booing that. I've, I've, I've every right to boo that. Absolutely shocking performance in front of goal. And as I said, it's not the first time this has happened this season. And Ralph Rannick has got this team progressing. He's got this team creating. He's got this team making chances after chances. Totally dominated that game from the first whistle to the last whistle. As you would expect and should expect Manchester United to do against Watford at home. But to, but to see that level of finishing on so many different occasions this season, it's not... Look, right, sometimes in football, you, you have, your strikers have an off day. Your, your, your players have an off day and they can't finish the dinner. Cool. That happens. Does it happen against Middlesbrough, Southampton, Burnley and Watford all in the space of seven games, seven, eight games? No. When that sort of shit happens, you have to go, hmm, something is fundamentally wrong here. What is it? Is it just a confidence thing? I don't know what it is because after the week we've had as well, with the confidence boosting win away at Leeds, a 4-2 fighting, a fighting and gritty old school performance, and then getting that one or draw away at Atletico Madrid, there's some confidence boosting results. Going at home, dominating the first 10-15 minutes against Watford, creating chances. That's a confidence boosting start to the game. But United just couldn't do it. Absolutely couldn't do it. Truly, truly, as wasteful as you're probably ever going to see. City don't do that. Liverpool don't do that. They finish. They get the three points. That's why they're so far ahead of United. It's just that lack of killer instinct. We're just soft underbelly. Just keeps getting exposed and tickled so many times. And it's just frustrating, man. It's frust frustrating beyond belief. Because over the years, we've seen Manchester United play under Louis van Gaal and just have games where we dominate possession, but really don't create that much. So what I'm seeing now is certainly not the worst that I've seen under Manchester United since Ferguson retired, all right? But to see that team with so much quality, with all those attackers on at the end of the game, and we still cannot finish. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, boys? You are professional footballers. They always say that scoring a goal is the hardest thing to do in football. Well, I think United are pretty much fitting that cliche right now. As I said, domination in so many games. Four off the top of my head, and I'm sure there are more. But I can't really remember off the top of my head now. But I'll tell you what. I, we've already done a video on this, and we've already had a conversation about Ronaldo. But my, 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 my. Doesn't he cut a frustrated figure? Hit that Was he unfortunate to hit the post? I think it was a little bit unfortunate to fit the, hit the post, but it wasn't the best finish at all. Uh, do I think he had, should have had a penalty? Yes, I do. I think he came. the defender came th right through the back of his leg, and it seemed like a clear-cut penalty, but apparently not. You know, Vaz says, eh, maybe not. No, nah, it went no. But Ronaldo, when things go wrong, his, his, his arms get flung in the air. Bruno Fernandes, when things go wrong, his arms get flung in the air, whereas uh, what they actually should be doing is looking at themselves. Because Bruno Fernandes had his finishing been better today, there would be no frustration at all. Cristiano Ronaldo had his finishing been better today, there would be no frustration at all. As a, there needs to be more inward looking from these Manchester United players. Because you can't look at the manager for making uh, the wrong substitutions. Jesus, we had everyone on the pitch at that point. You can't look at, uh, at the midfielders for not creating opportunities. Matic floating the ball over plenty of times today. Chances galore. All they can do is look at themselves and go, you know what? I've got to be better. I have to be better. But surely that's what they would have done after Burnley, Southampton uh, and Middlesbrough. But instead, they haven't. And they've done the exact same thing here against Watford. Nil-nil against Watford. And for me, that's probably the top four done, as I said. Unless we come out in these next three games against City, Spurs, Liverpool, and we put in some performances. We put in some shocking, well, as far as the odds are concerned, we put in some shocking results and we get wins where no one expects us to get wins. It's not as if chance creation is an issue. We've done it so often in the last five, six, seven games. Randnick and his football, we're playing better football. We're creating more chances. But we are being amateur when it comes to finishing them. Another two points dropped. I don't know what goes on from here. Let's see what happens against City. But right now, Arsenal, they, you know they're going to be favourites of top four. And if United do manage to do it, we're going to have to pull out some head of some massive results in games that we are not expected to get wins in. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What do you think about Ronaldo? What do you think about Bruno? What do you think about United's utterly, utterly wasteful finishing? You let me know in the comments below, but I'm not watching match of the day. Not sure about you.